Hello guys and welcome back to a new video today. Today I know what you're thinking, Harris, what are you wearing? I know I'm not, I'm usually wearing like upper 98 t-shirt but I was at my girlfriend's house for a barbecue and I've just got in, it's about 11 o'clock. I don't know if any of you are living in the UK or just basically anywhere in Europe. Basically there was heat wave in Spain and it's basically traveling up. So now after the bad summer that we've had with weather, we're now getting good weather when we go back to school which is predictable, really. Anyway, I'm bloody roasting in here. I need to take this off. <sighs> so, today, speaking of Spain, um, today we're going to be doing a football top review. Now, I've not done one of these in quite a while. I used to do them all the time. Well, not all the time, but like last year at the start of the season, I used to do them quite a lot. And the thing that's different about these is the tops aren't actually real. They're bought from like places like AliExpress or and this one it's DHG and they are basically just Chinese companies that basically they have, um, I don't know if it's manufacturers, it's sellers, sellers that just basically sell fake stuff like for example fake football boots or in this case fake football tops. So I picked one of them up, it was £11, £10, something like that and uh, I thought I'd show off to you today is the Real Madrid away kit for this season, 2016-2017 season. Um, it's a little bit crumpled, I'm not going to lie, it was sitting on my bed before I filmed this. So it's a little bit crumpled and there might be a little stain on it because um, I was eating pizza and I spilled some dip on it right there. But I just need to wash it basically, that's all, that's all I'm trying to say. I ordered it probably about two weeks ago and it took about a week to come, which is pretty good, usually it takes a bit longer than that considering it is from China. So yeah, pretty fast shipping. I'll leave um, links to this down in the description if you want to go buy it out or even just go check out the website that I got it from. Maybe it's got your favourite football team's top on it, so maybe if you want to go and have a look at the website then I'll leave the link down in the description. But anyway, I want to show you a little close up of this. I'm going to try it on as well. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good in my opinion. I've not actually felt or saw the real one in real life, but this one is what, like a fifth or a sixth of the price. Um, usually football tops are about 50 or 60 pounds, which is absolutely mad, unless you're getting them obviously on a deal or something like that. So this is quite a bargain, and it looks, in my opinion, it looks fairly real, if not identical to the real one. The one thing I would say is the badge is a wee bit weird. I'll try to give you a wee close up on that. I don't really know if you can see it, but it just it looks a wee tiny bit off, but that's not that noticeable, especially from afar. And other than that, like the printing's good, the badge looks real, the Adidas badge looks real. It feels, it's actually really good quality for a, a 11 pound t-shirt. It uh, feels kind of the same as this, really. Um, so, it's good material, it'll obviously last you quite a while. And as I said, the printing and stuff that gets good, so if you're going to wash it, then there's not much of a chance that it's gonna fade off like normal fake tops do, which is good. Obviously if it does like fade off and start to like rip apart then I'll edit the description and say it's, it's falling to pieces basically. But I'm gonna give you a little close up and I'm also gonna try this on just to show you how it looks on. Obviously I'm wearing denim shorts right now so you're not really gonna wear this with denim shorts when you play football. I mean, unless you want to. I mean, I'm not stopping you from doing it but not really what you want to be doing. Anyway, let's take this tripod up. Also, just as I'm just about to put this on, we do apologise for not as much like actual football content the past few like weeks. Um, obviously, we've been been going back to school now, and we've just not really had much time. Like kind of awkward times of us going away on holiday and stuff like that. Like when when two of us are back, then when one of us are back, then the other one goes away. It's just a bit of a pain, but we'll be back to normal. Um, very soon and we've got a lot of exciting stuff in store we're like hopefully going to be working with a few different companies so stay tuned for all of that in the upcoming future anyway I'm going to take my top off you don't want to see that I'm going to put this top on that's what you want to see so here is the Real Madrid away kit for 2016-2017 season it's a very good fit it's very comfortable um, not much else I can really say other than I'm very happy with the way it looks, um, obviously it doesn't look that like clean as I said, as I explained earlier in the video, but it does look pretty good, it's a nice fit, it's comfortable as I said, and I feel like wearing it is going to last quite a long while, which is 
basically what you're looking for in a football top. We're just going to give you a little close up of the badge and stuff like that. I don't know how clearly you can see that, but it's pretty well printed on, especially the Adidas logo as well and the wee fly Emirates bit sponsoring and another close up on that badge. So I got a large, usually I get a medium like, for instance this Nike top that I for 91, that is a medium. But with experience that I've bought, bought from, you can't really see me, from experience that I've bought before from like the Chinese um, websites and stuff like that and reading some of the reviews, it says to go a size up so I did and I'm pretty happy with the fit. I probably could have got away with medium but oh well, I got with the large and probably prefer this to be honest. Anyway, that has been it for today's review of this Real Madrid jersey. Hope you did enjoy it. I'll leave all the links if you want to go buy it now down in the description. Also, a massive thank you. I know you probably saw the 1000 subscriber montage kind of thing that I uploaded maybe yesterday. It depends how fast I upload this. It was basically today that I uploaded it, but obviously I need to edit this, so it'll probably be, this will probably be up tomorrow. I'm getting confused. You'll probably get confused as well. But thank you very much, and the support has been absolutely unbelievable and we're so happy that we've hit 1000 and we're nearly at 1200 already and we hit 1000 like last week which is absolutely insane so i can't thank you guys enough um also stay tuned for a giveaway we're still trying to work out what else we're gonna get we know we're my really we're giving away these and um, you probably saw me saying that in the previous video but those of you that haven't saw that that is um zoe camp it's uh, shin guards, they're made in Austria and they are 130 euros so we're going to be giving away a pair of these and something else, maybe a football, maybe a football top, I have no idea, give us some suggestions if you have any down in the description just make sure it's not too expensive because we're on a budget, we're on a budget. Anyway I hope you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.